was way cool. That's called a racing sandwich right there. The problem is, with no sound, you can't hear a guy coming up behind you. You have to use the mirrors. Now, they've actually said that uh, they're going to try to put some sort of things on here called Eco Shriek, so you can hear these things running, because they've almost run over some corner workers on the road courses. Well, Ohio State University right now is leading. That is Craig Taylor, the AC Propulsion. He has the lead being chased by the Notre Dame. Now, here is a replay, a slower car out in front. Notre Dame goes high. Ohio State goes low. A sandwich right there. He just had enough room to squeeze that number seven car in there. He certainly did. And uh, Ohio State moved right back up in front of him, cut him off going into the corner. I tell you what, these are neat cars to run, you know. And people do things in these cars to do here. Look at that. And there goes Notre Dame on the high side. <laughs> there goes, oh, my. There goes Ohio State the low side. The, the one interesting comes the checkered flag and a lot of jubilation right there ohio state greg taylor takes the victory out of Columbus. taylor in the uh, maroon and gray car went to the inside made the pass that's the ohio state car that Ernie just mentioned going 143 miles an hour. That car actually has 31 12-volt batteries in it. The batteries alone weigh 1,240 pounds, uh, but the whole car can weigh no more than 2,740 pounds. Doesn't leave much left for the driver and everything else, does it? But, you know, these things are very fast. We drove them last year out here, uh, and they're, ex they're extremely quick. The acceleration is a lot quicker than you would think. And I earlier drove that uh, impact, that uh, pace car that they had out here. And that thing was really fast. You, you peeled that, out. You oh, left you some could, rubber. You could burn rubber. First and second, and there is a shot to the inside. Craig Taylor from Ohio State University runs in second right now. He won this race last year, was the fast qualifier this evening at over 90 miles an hour, almost 91 miles per hour. So they get right around here. These race cars do run a lot faster than uh, you might think. I think it's so deceiving because there's no noise. You can't hear them. And I know when you're driving them, it's very, very deceiving. It's very eerie feeling. Go around here and hear the tires squealing and all these noises, but you can't hear the engines running. You hear some...